Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. It was a pretty interesting day for King of Fighters. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, in my last video I talked about the King of Fighters 15 reveal. SNK was initially supposed to show it on January 6th, and then on January 6th they mysteriously cancelled it. I went over a few reasons on why I thought it was cancelled, but today we found the actual reason out. Today they announced King of Fighters 14 Ultimate Edition, which is basically an all-in-one bundle of King of Fighters 14. It contains all the characters and all of the costumes. They obviously didn't want this announcement to be overshadowed by the reveal of King of Fighters 15. Admittedly, I was not expecting this announcement today. I was expecting maybe a King of Fighters 15 actual reveal date. But instead they did this, and this is not a bad announcement. I'm happy for this announcement. I like King of Fighters 14. I'm welcoming of an Ultimate Edition, especially for those people who have never played the game. And I don't think anyone would have picked this up with King of Fighters 15 right around the corner. My guess is someone from marketing also thought the exact same thing, which is why the previous event was cancelled. And it does make a lot of sense. I highly doubt anybody would be really excited for the Ultimate Edition after seeing the trailer for King of Fighters 15. But it looks like SNK ended up revealing King of Fighters 15 anyways. In their huge rush to cancel this event for the King of Fighters 15 reveal and also promote King of Fighters 14 Ultimate Edition kind of in its place, they sent out some King of Fighters 15 screenshots. And if you don't believe me, that sure as heck does not look like King of Fighters 14. And this doesn't look like King of Fighters 14. Neither does this or this. Pretty sure that's not King of Fighters 14 either. And this definitely doesn't look like KOF 14 Leona. And this one here looks like KOF 14 because this one is. So look at the difference between KOF 14 and KOF 15. Maybe a little bit of an upgrade here. So it definitely looks like SNK may have botched things up a little bit here with their announcement. But at the same time, they didn't show the entire trailer and just ended up showing some screenshots which actually look pretty good. They shouldn't be worried at all. What are your thoughts about King of Fighters 15? Does this look good? Let me know in the comments below. To me, this reminds me a little bit of Samurai Showdown, just with a bit of an improvement. Now, moving on to the last bit of news, Goku in King of Fighters. Yes, this was actually a thing. I'll leave a link to this article in the description below, and I highly recommend giving it a read. It's Capcom vs. SNK and Oral History. I think it's a fantastic article, and I'm a little bit biased because Capcom vs SNK2 is one of my favorite games of all time, so it was really cool reading through this. There's a quote in this article that is extremely interesting. It's from someone who worked on King of Fighters 98, and they said, the team ended up making a build of the game with Ryu and Ken in it, and they also put in Dragon Ball characters like Goku in it. That is pretty impressive. There is a bit of crappy news to this though as well. They say they doubt a version of this game still exists anywhere, since they did it on development hardware and it was never on a physical cartridge. So that's a bit of a bummer, but at the same time there's still a chance this game exists somewhere. I mean, realistically, there have been a ton of other long lost games that have magically appeared later on down the road. I've got my fingers crossed that King of Fighters 98 featuring Ryu, Ken, and some Dragon Ball characters like Goku exists somewhere. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on pretty much everything I talked about today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.